Hello everyone and welcome back to this series about the 010 editor. So in this video we will see uh, how to add the uh, like a template and parse a PE file. So parse a, an executable file which is going to be using uh, the PE uh, template. I'm going to install this new version by the way. This is a newer version that came out and it has a lot of new cool features. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And then launch and like I mentioned on Twitter that uh, you can get an like a you can get a the you can get a full I think like the trial license it gives you you can use the trial license for a lot of things uh, for 30 days so you can test it out and check if things are uh, Good enough for you if you want to do and then if you want to purchase the tool you can do that so let's get to windows system 32 and then notepad let's just open notepad okay so as you can see here immediately when we open the the executable uh the tool zero one zero editor uh like notice that there is an there's a template available for for this type of file so it's telling you do you want to install it okay so all you need to do is say install and agree to the license and now it's installed so now what we can do is actually start parsing the the executable uh, using the 010 editor so if we go down here by the way you can see the template has already been uh, the template has already been applied you can see that we have the uh, the the dust header, the dust tub, and and when you click on any one of them, it shows you uh, the bytes. Uh, it highlights the bytes actually, okay. And then we have the NT header. The uh, we have the section headers, and then we have the details about each section. So these are the, as you can see here, the each section and and the details about them. Uh, you can see those are about the imports, so all the functions that have been, all the, sorry, <coughs> excuse me, all of the libraries that have been imported, you can see all of those and all of the details inside them. So let's just scroll down a little bit here. You can see all of the imports, okay, we can see all of them. So we can see we have uh, 27 libraries have been imported by this tool. Uh, by this application which is the notepad we can see here this is a resource directory table and as you can see here by the way it's telling you how many bytes are in this resource you can see here it's telling you how many bytes are there we can see here is the relocation table we will talk about that later not now or not in this video and then we also can see that these are the debug related directory information about uh, debug uh, information about this executable let's start from the beginning just for this video and then we'll add uh, more in the next one so if we go to the dust header we can see uh, it's broken down into this and these are all the sections in a, in the the dust header of a of an, a portable executable file once you click on any one of these it will highlight those bytes in the upper pane where the the ex, the file is actually being opened and we can see this was a uh, the graph which was mentioned uh, also by uh, steve miller on on twitter so you can see this uh the the graph here and again yeah if we go back any one of these if you click on them it will highlight the bytes in there so as you can see here this is a word which means it's a two bytes so it's highlighting those two bytes you can see it's telling us what are those two bytes and it's actually the mz so 5a for these for the mz which is for the pe portable executable file header you can see usually in this section or in this header the most the two most important uh, fields are the mz signature or or this value and then the address of where is the uh, the new executable header which is for the nt header so it's telling you the, that address is at uh let's see if i can yeah it's telling you that address is as at f8 so if you go by the way if you look down here we can see this is where f is available right and then if we move eight bytes so if we move this is eight bytes 
So we know that this is where our NT header starts. And actually, as you can see, it actually is highlighting the PE, which is from the NT header. So if I close this and then let's say, uh, look at the stub, by the way, just quickly look at the stub. We can see that these characters where it says this is uh, this program uh, cannot be run in DOS mode. So we can see this is over available over here and you can see it's uh, 64 bytes. And it's also, by the way, telling you over here, it's 64 bytes. It's telling you also where the range is from which byte to which byte, etc. So let's close that and then uh, go back to our NT header. So as you can see here, when we clicked on the NT header, we can see here as well, it's telling us where does it start and it starts at F8, which we already actually saw in the, uh, the image DOS header here. The NT header is saying address of new executable header is at F8. And that's exactly where our NT header is starting, F8. It's telling you the size is 108 uh, hexadecimal bytes, or as you can see here, 264 bytes, okay, in, in decimal. If we open this, we can see we have the DOS, uh, the, sorry, the NT signature, which is the PE, uh, the PE value, which is for uh, the signature, okay. And then we also have the image file header and the image file header here, you can see this is a structure. So if we double click on it, we can see inside there are different details. So we can see the first one, which is uh, also uh, two bytes, as you can see over here. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, these two bytes represent the AMD64. So this value represents AMD64. We can see in the next two bytes, and these, by the way, just remember, these are uh, little Indian, so that's why they are read this way. So 0700, zero, zero, uh, this is uh, this is to be read in little Indian, and from, if you remember, see, this is little Indian. Uh, so because if we, by the way, switch this, then uh, the value is going to be completely different. This is not going to be uh, seven bytes okay so this is actually seven bytes uh sorry not seven bytes two bytes but i mean the value seven and again uh here uh what this means is uh we have just let me mute my phone okay great both of them are muted just so we have seven sections and we'll see over here that we have the sections from zero to six which means they are really seven sections and then we have here the timestamp, which is when this application was compiled. And this is, as you can see here, if you just click, this is a word. So it's two bytes again. The timestamp here, you can see this is uh, eight bytes. And it's telling you, uh, right, this is eight bytes. No, sorry, it's four bytes. These are four bytes. It's these over here highlighted. Or is it these one over here? Yeah, it starts at 100. Yep, these are the four bytes representing this timestamp. And then we have these other uh, values here. The size of the optional header is 240. So if we go to the optional header, by the way, okay, the size of the optional header, see, but just by clicking on it is 240. And where did we get that size? We got it from this section over here. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.